So in this video we're going to be looking at row, rows, column, and columns, and we're going to dig into what makes those different. It can be super confusing. The basic difference is a row and a column is a location on a sheet, and a rows and columns, that is a reference to the sheet. And so we're going to just dig right in. Made a couple changes to the way that I'm doing these videos. I'm putting in the code so I'm not typing. Hopefully you like that. If you do, give me a like or give me a comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now we're going to go through this code. We're going to go F8 and we're going to walk through this one at a time. So the first thing we've got is how do you select a column? columns, um, you're going to pass in the reference. Again, this is a reference to a location. So that's going to give me one. Now, if I put in two, it would, it would pull in B. You can also pass in a reference of the column headers. Same thing for rows, pretty simple. So that's pretty easy. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to select B20, which is just a single cell. We're going to put the address name in B19. And then I'm going to say, what is the active, the, what is the row of that active cell. Now that's going to give me 20. And what's the column? Well, it's in B. That's going to give me two. So that's how you use row and column. It's going to give you a reference to where it lives within the workbook or range. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to clear some contents. So we're going to start over. Now I'm going to select a larger range, which is B20 to B30. Now I'm going to throw in the address so that I know that that's my selected range. Now what row and column is it going to give me because I have multiple. Now row and columns will only give you the upper left and so if we come down here and we give that it's going to be there's it's uh, 20 because that's the row and it's going to give me two so that really didn't change. Now what, what would happen if I change my selection so if I come over here and I have a different selection what is the row going to be here? Well, it's going to be 20, and it's going to be an F, which is column 6. So that's just quick reference on that as far as row and column. It's only going to give you the upper left in a range if you're using a range. So let's head back to our code here, go back to our selection, and we're going to come in here. And actually, I didn't even need to do that. It just it makes it easier to see. So I cleared that out. Um, this is going to give me the row count of my range. Now I'm giving it a range and I'm counting the number of rows. So that's going to count one, two, three, and that gives us 11 rows. Same thing here, we're passing in a range and I want to know the count of the columns. So it's going to give me one, two, and it's going to give me six columns. This, right, this next thing that I'm going to go over is a little bit more advanced. Um, so this is when you have rows with any range, it's really easy when you're thinking of a sheet because you just select the whole row or the whole column, but ranges have rows too. And so in this case, B20 to, to G30, we're gonna select the second row and that's actually gonna be here. So let's hit F8 and that gives me the second row within that range. And then if I have do columns, it's gonna do the same thing. So hopefully this clears up some confusion around row, rows, column, and columns. If you like the video, give me a like and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.